What is going on, everybody? This is going to be our very first commentary. Actually, kind of, sort of. It's going to be our first actual commentary I'm going to be doing. Anyways, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to give you some photo help on how to take pictures of drifting. Basically, I've seen a lot of pictures where you'll try doing a lot of, lot of shutter speed, and this is what you'll end up with. You'll have one car that's in focus, like my Volvo, and one car that's not in focus, like Henry's Ford Focus. Now, a couple of things to fix this. Uh, you can either slow down the shutter speed, you can change the car. Sometimes, if you notice, the focus right now is in focus. Ha ha ha, pun intended. Not really. But the F Volvo is nowhere near in focus. You see, it's very blurry, very shaky. Now, if we put the focus on the Volvo, the Ford is shaky still, but a little bit less shaky. Now, one thing that you can use to fix this is your shutter speed. Just turn it down. Oh, that's not what I, that's not shutter speed. That's contrast. Turn down your shutter speed a little bit. Now you see the Ford is a little bit less shaky. Granted, when you take a picture from out here, you won't really see it, but you won't have the full effect. Now, another thing that you can do is that what you can actually do is uh, go into your replay wait until both cars are sliding at the exact same speed and the exact same angle. You don't want any kind of motion um, between the two cars. Here's a perfect example. Here we come, me and Henry, right now we're going, we were going the same speed. Well, uh, I'll try showing you again. See, right now we're going the same exact speed. So if you were to take a picture right here if you notice we were again going the same speed alright I'm going to put a photo of my car we're going to turn it up to 100 alright we're going to move, move right here see he's not really moving that much but because he's got just a little bit more angle the front of his car is a tad bit off well the other side is uh, it's okay we can move it right here. And it looks slightly fine. Now, we'll take a picture of the Volvo right there. Now, if you notice, the Volvo doesn't really like to be blurred. So, we're always going to keep our focus on the Volvo when taking pictures of these two cars. It also looks better than this. Now, no, we're not going to save that because we don't want to save it. So that's that's the main thing that you want to get is that both cars are moving the exact same speed and not changing angle on each other. That's going to help you out with your pictures just a little bit. So we're going to wait for both of our cars to be going the same exact angle. Right there. Perfect. Right here. Alright, now we're going to Pull it up, take a shot, put a little more exposure into it. See, we're at 40 right now. Both cars look very, they look pretty good. All right, so we're focused on the Volvo. As you can see, the Ford is still pretty much in focus. Now you see, it, it has become a little bit less in focus now but from out here when you take a picture like this when it renders it's gonna be eh, it's gonna be a little bit better a little bit easier see if you look at the photo right now you do not know that the Ford is slightly faster than the Volvo at this moment or the different speed we'll say not so much faster or slower so this is a different speed now another thing that you can do just in case you want to get that absolute perfect, change your angle. Change the angle of the picture itself. See, we're getting a little bit less. What you want to do, you want to see where the blur is going. Right here, it's going to the left. So we're going to move our camera to the left. Continue moving it to the left. Now, a little left. 
right actually it's, now it's going to the right a little bit now we're going to move it out oh no there's your there you go lay down take your picture whatever I like taking them down here since these cars are so pretty much closely balanced when it comes to speed right now you can, you can choose either car whichever one looks better I personally like the Volvo because the Ford is actually modeled better than the Volvo for me it looks better especially since right here it looks white pale gross you get it the uh, the Ford still looks pretty fine now we're gonna lift up I'm actually gonna change the way I take this picture a little bit all right oh hello and we're gonna move up get a little bit of wide angle shot going Let's see if we can't get get it from the back yeah there's my crappy try to uh, rust but you know you know how that all works out Turn down the exposure just a little bit. If you notice, a lot of things are out on uh, when you when you put up the exposure that high. Yeah, you get the subject exposed, but everything else is kind of washed out, kind of gross. We're gonna turn it down just a little bit. Um, as you can see, I use a little bit of sepia. I do use 100% color, but I use a little bit of sepia. And why is that? Because if you notice right here in the color, we're gonna turn it back up. If you notice right here in the color, we're just gonna turn it up here. Uh, 77 this is about where I would uh, yeah right about here I would, this is about where I would actually take my photo um, if I wasn't using sepia this seems very fine but the color temperature right now is a little colder what I mean by that is that if you see right in here you see a little more blue than you do red uh, it just it makes the the uh, the photo feel more at nighttime and not more like a sunset kind of epic photo so just to give it a little bit uh, of a better I don't know better feel to it we're gonna bump up the color to 100 percent now I've never really been I, I used to be really good at taking 100 percent photo colors or 100 percent color photos but I haven't really been doing it anymore why I don't know mostly because I've changed it just a little bit I've changed my photo style just a little bit um, I've noticed that this is just it doesn't look a whole doesn't look very good not not in this situation at least when you're trying to do a realistic photo now if you really want to go for that extra mile this is what I suggest hitting the sepia what's that gonna do it's gonna bring out the warmth in the photo and why is that good we talked about it earlier this makes the photo better gives it a different uh, different feel because the color temperature is different. Just a little, just a little tip for you right there. Um, another thing that you can do to help your photos out is finding the contrast and brightness uh, balance. Most tracks differ, but most of the time you're going to be in the mid 70s on the contrast and about uh, right around there in the 70 for your brightness. What it's going to allow you to do, though, right? allow you to run a lower exposure while still keeping the darks exposed it gives balance to the photo because Forza's lighting system is absolutely horrid in this game and I hate it now you can you you can experiment within the 80s um, if you're if you really want to sit down like right there that was a perfect example I kept my exposure the exactly the same but the darks came out because I had that balance better and that was that was literally the luckiest try I've ever gotten. Um, maybe a, what you'll notice is that you can actually uh, change it a little bit. See, there's a little more contrast. You go to 86 and 78. 
perfect and then if you go up to 87 and 79 you will get a uh, get more of a, a lighter feel which uh, it can work but that's for a different episode anyways this is what we got now and uh, that's the photo and that's just just a little quick tip on how to help you out with your uh, with your photos on Forza 4 and drifting um, subscribe like comment whatever you want uh, comment if you have a, sub a, a subject you would like to hear more about um, something I can help you with um, if you really need to I can live stream a lesson towards you um, help you out with your photos tell you what I think I would do uh, versus what you're doing so anyways have a nice day sub like favorite comment all that jazz tweet it I don't even care retweet it Facebook it do whatever you want with this video just don't dislike it because I hate dislikes makes me look bad I hate it I cry every time because I can't even figure out who dislikes the videos sad face anyways I will see y'all later